matchmaking might be getting fixed and tons of new reveals for the new crossover that's coming up very soon from what I can tell. For more news like this stick around for this week's episode of This Week in Identity 5. Welcome back everyone to another episode of This Week in Identity 5. Let's talk about quickly what we got last week. So last week we got season 23 essence 1 with the new S tier skin for Gardener, a new A tier skin for Disciple and another A tier skin for Sculptor. These skins are absolutely beautiful. I wasn't lucky enough to get any. I hope that you were though. We also got a a new rank reset where of course we got new rank rewards with a new S tier accessory for Lucky Guy that is very impressive and of course two A tier accessories one for Psychologist and also one for Bloody Queen. Of course we also got a new Logic Path reset that came along with the new skin on the Logic Path for Mind's Eye that's called Ocean Witch. It's an A tier skin and of course it comes with its own shell accessory and of course a portrait and a portrait frame themed on this very skin. If you weren't able to play rank in season 22 of course you could go and buy the rank accessories from the previous season in the store so that is something that I did for example I bought the nightmare one because it's such a good accessory and of course you got lots of fragments from the new rank reset. Flashlight's got tons of adjustments with this new adjustment that we've had recently with Thief. They kind of nerfed flashlights into the ground here. When multiple flashlights shine on the hunter, the maximum speed of the stun and the silence remains at one times. So if two people are using the flashlight on the same hunter, it won't double the speed, it will only be one time speed. Lucky Guy's chance of getting a flashlight from wishing has become 50%. I'm unsure if it was lower, I would assume that it was increased his percentage chance of getting a flashlight. But that's quite a high chance, I'm not sure. The maximum number of flashlights is now one when you can get in a match and two in duo hunter mode. Another change for flashlights in duo hunter mode is that the price has been increased from 1000 and 1500 to 2000 and 3000 respectively points that you, of course you can get in duo hunter mode. That has doubled the price of the flashlight so Netties really considers it to be a strong utility especially I think this is mostly aimed towards a thief who can of course use flashlights now even better than he could before because he can silence so increasing that price will just make it so he can't get flashlights super easy and infinitely silent and stun the hunters. If you're watching back a match and you want to see your amazing flashlight stun in 4k, they've also made flashlight shine progress visible when you're watching back recordings. Hermit had a small adjustment to his UI where you're now able to change the size and the position for his polarity ability that lets him change between blue or red charge on his weapon. And they started the new event last week, the autumn letter warm-up event, where technically I thought it was going to be the full event but it was just the warm-up event. In this event we got to complete missions to receive clues and also some friendship letters and a coupon for postman's new b tier skin that you'll be able to purchase in the store for free if you got the coupon i was unsure as to why they did it that way but it was a little bit confusing why not just put it in the event as something you can unlock i am still unsure about that but you can purchase it in the store if you for some reason don't want to do the event Moving on to talk about what we are getting this week. Well, the only thing that's confirmed is that we're getting the second half, or I guess the start of the autumn letter event, since last week was the warm up event. We're getting the second half of this event now, where we have different things that we can do. We get the check in letters event, where you get to log in to be able to get a portrait and portrait frame, I believe, and some other rewards. I can imagine fragments, clues, all of the usual. We got the daily letter delivery event that may be something to do with sending other people letters. I am unsure what that's going to be and we got Victor's autumn gift section that is also another event that I'm unsure what happens but one of these events will let you upgrade if you spend some echoes this the B tier skin that we got from this previous week into an A tier skin. And it will also probably give us access to the new windmill accessory as well that's for Postman that I believe is an A tier accessory and I'm unsure what the effects are. Although I think they have released a video on it. I haven't watched it yet. I hope that it's cool though. As far as I know, that's all that's supposed to be coming guaranteed this week. Of course, they'll probably do some little adjustments to characters, bug fixes and the usual. But let's talk about what we're going to be getting in the future. Leaks, rumors and stuff that Netties has also confirmed. I think one of the biggest news that everyone is very, very aware of they revealed the skins for the Bungo or Bungo or however you pronounce that Stray Dogs crossover. I'm not sure if they've released all the skins but um, they've released quite a few of them where Atsushi is Mercenary who is one of the main characters in the anime and he is going to be getting an S tier skin and possibly he's going to have a second form similar to the Danganronpa part 2 event where Hajime had a second form when he used his magnets. So I'm interested in seeing if he kind of gets his werewolf, were tiger form I mean. 
But yeah, that's probably going to have another form. The Dazai skin, that is an S tier skin, is going to be for Prisoner. And I'm unsure what's going to make it S tier. Maybe it's going to have some effects as well when he connects up his uh, connections or when he shocks people. There are rumors that this is not going to be part of an essence. This Dazai skin is going to only be purchasable for Echoes in store, but I'm unsure if that is true. That is just rumors. Novelist is getting an A tier skin for the character Kunikida, that is yet another important character in the anime. Painter is going to be getting an A tier skin for Edogawa, that is another character that is a less prominent one but does pop up in many of the episodes and is definitely one of my favorites in the anime. And Doctor is going to be getting an A tier, presumably, that is for uh, the character Yosano, that is also one of my favorite design characters in the anime for sure. I'm looking forward to seeing that come up. Uh, there have been some reveals for the accessories that will be coming along with this event. As most crossovers do, they come with accessories, even if they don't have any effects, if they're B tier, some of them may be even A tier. Of course, they are very themed on the characters. I'm not sure who got these leaks. I'm assuming it was IDV Curiosity. I just have it on my Discord server and I can't tell who it was, but I'm going to claim that it's IDV Curiosity because it usually is. We're going to be also getting a return of another crossover event, probably in our server at some point, because China is going to have the return of the B-Duck skins, both of the skins, for some limited time on September 29th. So maybe we will also this week get the return of the B-Duck skins. I am unsure. And here we've got quite a lot of things that are rumored and also slightly confirmed by Netties, but unconfirmed when they're going to happen. One of the first changes that we will be getting sometime in the future is they're going to increase ways of getting friendship level ups. Don't know how they're going to do that. Maybe they're going to make some ways of purchasing friendship letters or something like that. But it will be good because that thing kind of just stopped. There are rumors of an adjustment coming to the number of bands in rank and even Netties confirms that maybe they might be changing that. I'm not sure if we need even more bands than we currently have. I think this time next year we might but not at the current state of the game. Prospector will probably be getting some type of change to his uh, passive ability, the attraction ability that gives him a small speed boost when he's near something metallic, for example a locker or a cypher machine. One of the issues that even I've noticed because I've recently started playing Prospector for fun is is that his ability triggers at the beginning of the match even though you have no need of it because you just run towards the cypher machine to start decoding this might be adjusted soon and that will be interesting to see so that maybe he won't get it automatically and maybe he'll get it when he leaves the cypher i am unsure netties has confirmed though that gamekeeper is going to be getting a skin soon and it's going to be next essence and he's getting an a tier skin finally gamekeeper feels like a little bit of an unloved character in most cases so it's nice to see that he's getting a nice skin the last skin that he got was probably an A tier skin for a Christmas event. I can't remember how many years ago that was, but it would be nice if he got something in an essence. So I'm really glad to see that's coming. I think one of the most important changes that Netties has confirmed they are developing is that they're going to be improving or changing the matchmaking system. And this is something that is especially relevant to me as for the last three or four times that I've been, I've tried to play rank, it's taken over an, uh, half an hour to even get matches most cases. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they change. And this could mean some big changes to rank in general as well, as they might be really reworking that whole system. And a small change that's coming soon is they're going to improve the 360 degree camera in room option where you'll be able to kind of take photos better around the room. That system doesn't work well at all, especially in some of their places where they have two stories. It just doesn't work. You can't use it the way you want to. You're severely limited, you could just say. So it's nice that they're going to be reworking that. It would be nice to be able to have an up and down option and that would just make it super easy to use. Moving on to the talk in the manner where I respond to your comments that you guys left on my recent videos. I have a comment here from Mousy that says, wish it had little figurines or those Funko Pop things. Be cute to have a little Woo or Joseph on my desk. I was kind of hoping to get some nicer stuff from the box. It felt like what they had given me was a little bit minimum effort. The cup was pretty badly made. The stickers weren't even cut out. It was just one flat sheet of sticker paper. The picture was, uh, the picture that was in the frame was not, it was mostly just minimum effort too. It would have been nice to have got some nicer things like a little figurine or some keychains or something that's a little bit more solid and kind of usable in most situations. Fugles says, the difference in the prisoner case is not only help you decode, he is decoding another one at the same time. Yeah, a lot of people were very unclear as to what I was doing in the video. I thought I explained it quite relatively clearly in the 
double decoding, is it faster or not? This was just a little experiment to see how fast decoding was when you double decode. And then is it better to have prisoner connect from a distance or be right with you? And the answer is that it's faster to have him with you, especially with his decoding buff, technically. This was all focused on if the last cipher, the end game needs to be popped as fast as possible. It's the last cipher remaining, which is the fastest option. Not for general use in most of the match, with the rest of the match where you guys have to split up and decode cipher machines because that is the most optimal way. Which skin are you most excited for in the next Bungo Bungo Stray Dog crossover? Which one do you think is going to have the coolest effects? Tell me down below and whilst you're down there remember to like and subscribe and check out the Black Phoenix IDB channel where I put weekly things on what comes out on the day of the patch. Have an amazing day guys. Bye bye.